Hello guys, welcome back to Scratch. Um, this is part three, I think. Part three now, yeah, of um, my Mario tutorial. Um, so yeah, we're going to be carrying on and we're going to be putting in an item box this tutorial. Um, so yeah, we're going to be basically making this. Um, I haven't got the collisions working yet, but I don't think we'll be able to cover that this tutorial because this might be quite a long one. But um, but yeah, we're just gonna get this uh, this item box moving around, and so it, yeah, okay. Um, so you wanna go and scratch, and um, you want to uh, create. Oh, actually no. First of all, you'll want to go into here into your folder where you've got your images, and just edit the um, Mario sprite sheet. And once that loads up, um, you'll want to find the uh, item block sprites and get the select tool as always. They are down here right at the bottom, just a sequence of blocks and you want to select them. So we'll just select them here and press Control C then do file create from clipboard and then save that and um, just call it i1.png um, or item1 whatever you want I'll just call it i1 doesn't take that long to type then and then move the selection along to hit the next one and so on just create from clipboard again name this i2 do you remember to copy them to the clipboard otherwise it won't it will mess it up and um, yeah, close that and do this for the next two. Create from clipboard i3.png and the last one. Okay, uh, here we go. I fold PNG. Okay, so once you have got your images, you want to just close down GIMP for now. Um, you'll see we've got them in this folder, so we can cycle through them like that. So, yeah, and um, so go into Scratch. Uh, am I on my? Yeah, right. Okay, and you want to create a new sprite from file and go up and uh, where is it pictures I found it sorry that took a while um, anyway uh, item and just name it item one because you might want to have multiple item boxes and I would just place it here next to Mario so these are like you know miscellaneous sprites that don't really matter well apart from the grounds but anyway um, and you want to import all the uh, all the different costumes you made okay and um, yeah and then we will we're gonna we're gonna put in the scripts now so put in when the green flag is clicked you want to um, it's entirely up to you where you want the uh, where you want the actual item box to be whether you want it like further on or closer to the start where whatever so I'll show you how to do that you want to make it a variable and um, just call it previous X or something I'm just gonna call it prev X just you know it's easier and make it for this sprite only that's very important if you want multiple um, item boxes and press OK and you'll want to set previous X to um, Go into operators, get the minus operator, and um, get scroll x. Oh no, sorry, not scroll x. Uh, x position. And I'm just going to do it like minus 70. Now uh, this number here is how far it's going to be on. So like zero, it's going to be like right at the start, in the middle. Um, 10 is going to be you know a bit further on 20 a bit further on and so on 
so if you had like a hundred that'd be really far or 70 70 well I can't show you that yet but um just finish the script and I'll explain the script how the script works afterwards and you want to go into motion and change X so this will get it moving around the X the X um, coordinates and you want to get the operators and get the minus operator and put that in there and um, go into your variables and then here do scroll X minus previous X and then you'll just want to copy that this script here and just put it in there okay so basically as you can see it's going to move along with Mario now um, and obviously we need to make it rotate and stuff but um, I'll just explain this so basically we start by just putting it in zero zero it doesn't actually matter you don't really need this but I just put it in um, just yeah just put it go to x zero y zero it's just easiest and basically um, we've got this variable called previous x which in this forever loop it's the um, it's the x what the x position of this was in the previous forever loop so basically if you look in the forever loop we're changing x by scroll x minus previous x so um, we're finding the difference between scroll x and previous x and by that we can calculate how much the um, item bo block needs to move um, if that sounds complicated don't worry just copy the script because it works but yeah if you want to understand how it works basically it's finding the difference so um, and then it's move it's moving by the difference so it's moving like it's <laughs> it's moving the the amount that the the scroll X has moved by basically um, and then for for this we just set the previous X to X position minus 70 so this is just basically an offset, which whatever you can, ha whatever you want. Uh, so yeah, I hope I've explained that all right. And finally, we're just going to, um, we're just going to get in the uh, movement or uh, the well, the animation of this. So um, we'll go one when the green flag is clicked. We may as well just do a completely different uh, sprite. You want to just get another forever loop and go in looks and just do next cost next costume <coughs> sorry guys um all this talking does my throat in a bit <laughs> anyway um and you'll just want to put in a wait time it's entirely up to you what you put in the wait time um but i find 0 0.15 works the best um for this particular sprite sheet if you've got like a different sprite sheet then it would probably be different um, but yeah, that is that is really what we want. Um, now I'll just go over this again, and hopefully you understand it. Um, I think next tutorial we'll, we will be um, adding some collisions to this because obviously we need to work out whether the top of Mario is hitting this item block, or like the left or right side, because we only want it to, you know, like change and bring out a mushroom or whatever if the top of Mario is hitting the bottom. So yeah, that's when it does start to get a bit complicated. Um, and Scratch, you know, Scratch isn't that good for making Mario games, but uh, still, we uh, we can get around it um, by using some sensors. But anyway, that's next tutorial. <laughs> Basically, um, I'll try and explain this. Uh, it's uh, um. Um, basically, oh, I don't know. Um, I, I hope I've explained this all right. But yeah, we're we're just calculating the difference. So we're calculating how much it's moved. So we've got the scroll x, and we're taking away the previous x. So we get the difference. Um, and this, yeah. Um, so I'm really not explaining this very well. But anyway, um, yeah, it works and. So yeah, um, you'll just want if you want more item block 
item boxes you can just duplicate this and just change this it will copy the variable as well so each variable each item box has its own previous x thing and um, you can just change this to like 140 instead um, remember to change it in both of these otherwise it won't work and so I've got two item boxes there um, probably put them a bit further apart and it, it can go off the screen as well so if you do it like 500 um, then um, yeah oh and also uh, hang on on this um, we will just set it to go to the front forever looks go to front just so it hides these and so this will be further along here so yeah and uh, yeah that is that is about it really um, for this tutorial I hope I've explained this well um, if you re if you don't understand all this stuff then leave me a comment and I'll see if I can help but basically all you really need to know is that it works but um, yeah if you, yeah <laughs> I don't know yeah if you um, it, sh it, sh it should be alright like that okay anyway I'm rambling now like I do <laughs> um, so yeah thank you for watching guys um, I do appreciate you watching all my videos and stuff because yeah it's quite good I'm getting I've got quite a lot of views now but anyway um, yeah thanks for watching um, and yeah I'll see you in the next part goodbye